my God. What's really lurking in some of that bling? I would not allow my daughter to put a sample in her mouth. Sold in Canada, made in China. He uses cadmium, and why? Cheap. Cheap. Searching for answers from stores you trust. At the end of the day, it's this company that's selling it to my kids. This is your marketplace. Stella, Sophia, and Lucia. Twelve-year-old friends who love to shop. I like that one the best. Hi, I'm David. Really good to meet you guys. Do you think you could each buy a hundred dollars worth of jewelry today? Definitely. Yeah. 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 Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five. Thank okay. you. We're gonna meet back here when you're done. Good luck. Okay. Have fun. We'll see ya. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. They don't know it yet, but they're part of a marketplace test. We're sending them into three leading fashion accessory stores. First up, Arlen. Oh my God! Oh, I love this store so much. Next, they head to H&M. It's a bit hot. Can you like? I don't like that. And finally, Aldo. I already see a couple stuff I like. We'll check their haul in a sec, but first to Calgary where Leslie Svensson went Christmas shopping. Hi. Hi there. I'm David. Welcome. And bought a heart-shaped pendant for her daughter. She wears it so much, the clasp breaks. This is my husband's garage. This is where he brought the necklace out to fix the clasp. It took him a, a second to recognize. Um, he's a welder, he works with metals. He said, this is lead. And I'm like, oh my God, she's had in her mouth. She's had in her mouth. My, my daughter is potentially poisoned. Jewelry. Meet seven-year-old Lindsay Swenson of Calgary. That's Leslie and her daughter on Marketplace back in 2001 when we first did this story. Like any little girl, Lindsay loves jewelry. There we go. <laughs> Blood tests find higher than normal levels of lead. Leslie calls Health Canada. They test the pendant and discover it's 100% lead. How'd that make you feel? Um, <laughs> unbelievable. How could this be possible? So distraught. It takes weeks for her blood to go back to normal. After our story airs, the government puts limits on the lead content of children's jewelry sold in Canada. A decade later, Marketplace is doing a spot check on stores. Thank you. And my phone. That's why we've asked these classmates, including Sophia, the daughter of one of our producers, to buy all that jewelry. Hi, how'd you guys make out? Good. Good? Okay, let's see. What'd you get? So here's the bad news. I'm going to take it all away from you. But here's why. We want to test it. Just see if there's anything wrong with it, and then we're gonna get back together with you and your parents. Sound good? Yeah. All right, now I take away. I'm the Grinch. <laughs> we also do some shopping of our own. Forever 21, Claire's, Old Navy, Dollarama, The Disney Store, and Sears. We wanna know if the jewelry we and the girls bought contains any toxic metals. We're taking it all to this lab at the University of Toronto. Mike Gorton and Miriam Diamond are with the Department of Earth Sciences. Let's see if that makes any difference. They're using the same technology as Health Canada. First up, this purple ring from H&M. So we're now scanning through the X-ray spectrum. You can already see a small peak here. Uh, it's probably tin. When it comes to lead, turns out all the pieces are safe. But when they test this Aldo bracelet, the peaks show something else. Yeah, they're slightly shifted. I ask the computer what it thinks everything is, and sure enough, cadmium, 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 and cadmium. Wow. Cadmium? Cadmium's a metal that can be very toxic if ingested. It can damage kidney, liver, immune function. Basically, any major system in your body can be harmed by cadmium. This is James Van Loon. He's the Director of Risk Management at Health Canada's Consumer Safety Branch. 
Our principal concern is for this behavior of mouthing stuff. Uh, chewing on it, sucking on it for extended periods of time, potentially even swallowing it. That's why Health Canada has set guidelines for cadmium in jewelry that appeals to kids under 15. 130 parts per million, we think, so that's a very low number. It really means that you can't add any cadmium to children's jewelry. Can't add any, yet this Aldo bracelet is not the only piece from our shopping test with high levels of cadmium. Time to share the results with the girls and their parents. So, have any of you heard of cadmium? No. 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 Yeah, cadmium? You've heard of cadmium. Very poisonous. Very poisonous. Do you think we found cadmium? Hopefully I hope not. not. <laughs> Let's take a look not. at Ardem. Who bought this? I did. You did? I think okay. I might have also. Been. So, the test found cadmium in it. Ooh. This Arden Blue Triangle Pendant is 99.6% cadmium, the highest ever reported in Canada. Earrings, also Arden. Who bought those? Anyone remember? I you. Remember them? The test also found cadmium. These red Arden earrings, nearly 3,400 times over the kids' jewelry guidelines. Aldo. What do you think? All good? I don't know. No. I don't know. No. I don't know anymore. All right. Bracelets. Who bought this? Um, I think that was me. The sparkly crystals in this Aldo bracelet test it nearly 15 times, the safe amount of cadmium. Had you ever thought that this might be a problem buying from a store like Aldo? No. Because it's Aldo, like you, it's got the brand behind it. And you're thinking, they should be watching what goes into that product. There's one more. <laughs> <laughs> Who bought those? Oh. Mm -hmm. Think that's me. Yeah. <laughs> These Aldo bow tie earrings, nearly 40 times over the Health Canada guidelines. Wow. Wow, that's right. All the jewelry from H&M turns out to be safe. Same for the other stores. But take a look at these anchor earrings and watermelon pendant from Arden. They all contain high levels of cadmium. And remember that Aldo bracelet? Its multicolor charm? Nearly 80% cadmium. If that was on my wrist and I was holding a baby and the baby sort of put its mouth on my wrist, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought twice about that, actually. When you guys go shopping, do you ever consider something like this? No. no. And why is that? Because I just assume that places know what's safe and what's not. Like, I'm not going to go to, like, a little tiny place in an alley and look for jewelry. <laughs> I'm going to go I'm gonna go to, like, stores and malls or, like, well-established stores. Somebody knows about it. We're not the first people to find out because it was part of the manufacturing process. Uh, so clearly, we need to understand what's coming in. So how did toxic cadmium get in your jewelry? The packaging says, made in China. Marketplace follows the trail. Get our newsletter, your cheat sheet to the news you need. Marketplace, because all the glitters should not be sold. We've come all the way to China to find out why costume jewelry we bought in Canada contains toxic cadmium. In China, even if you say something or you promise something, it doesn't necessarily mean that um, you know, you're going to get what you've asked for. Adam Gilborn's business, Easy IMAX, helps foreign companies import goods from China. Is jewelry such sort of small fry? Generally, he yeah. says if you want those goods to be safe, you have to start with the right manufacturer. Neo Glory makes products for big name brands. Today, they're making jewelry for guests. What if you're a buyer and you put out a contract that says you can't have cadmium? Is that your guarantee? Um, you need to have a presence in the manufacturer uh, at all times during your production run. Um, to be honest, that's the only way that you can 100% guarantee uh, that you're going to get the product that you want. China has its own rules about cadmium, even stricter than Canada's, and they apply to all jewellery, not just children's. This factory even has its own lab that tests the raw material and the finished product for cadmium. Do they ever find cadmium in their raw materials? 
Sometimes. So they actually do find, yes, you, they do find cadmium yes. sometimes in their raw material. Yes. They catch it with the lab yes. and send it back. Yes, send it back. It's a very good start. Um, obviously, we came here and they're already uh, testing, and it seems that they're testing, you know, constantly every day. And so, when we find jewelry on Canadian shelves that's way in excess of that, what does it tell you about those factories? Um, it tells me that they certainly don't have a laboratory, or and if they have, they've certainly not used it or ignored it. If the jewelry didn't come from here, what kind of factory could it have come from? We're led to this residential back alley. It's small. A rented ground floor apartment. Less visible safety precautions. Some of the work even happens in the backyard. He uses cadmium? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. And why? Cheap. Cheap. It's cheaper to use cadmium. How is it cheap? The manager tells us the melting point of cadmium is lower than zinc, so they can use a lower temperature to melt it into the mold, saving on energy costs. So basically, uh, say we need the cadmium. They, the buyers say we need cadmium. Yeah, that's pretty common. Yeah, yes. And why do they say that? Because they want a cheaper price. So something like this, yeah. is this, is the metal here, uh -huh. Just 10% cadmium oh, okay. and 90% zinc, or? This is 100%. This is, it's all cadmium. As we're talking, they get a delivery, a van full of cadmium ready to be made into jewelry. We asked the manager if he's concerned about the health effects of cadmium on consumers or his workers. Uh, he said that he knows about uh, cadmium is uh, dangerous for the people. He knows cadmium is dangerous yes, for people. Yes, and also yeah. his worker knows about that. Yeah. And but but uh, both of them they want to survive. They want to earn money. That's yeah. the reason they are still producing that. You surprised by what we've just seen and heard? No, I'm not surprised in the slightest. He gets the orders from the trading companies or from other larger factories, and uh, he basically makes whatever uh, whatever the trading company requests he makes. Most of the costume jewelry imported to Canada comes from right here in Iwu. Often sourced from this massive wholesale market where buyers and retailers hunt for deals. How easy would it be here to order jewelry made with cadmium? One of Adam's employees is going to help us find out. Uh, this is uh, six. RMB. Six RMB right now. We don't want to have the Halloween lobby 5.5. So we can get we can get a little bit off the price yes. by putting cadmium in yes. it. We've been in this market for not even three minutes and it's taken us no time at all to find someone who will use cadmium uh, instead of the regular components uh, if we want to get it cheaper. It's going to cost us one yuan more if we want this free of cadmium in life. This already have the cadmium. And they said this has cadmium. And they said they don't produce for without the cadmium. They don't make it without cadmium. Yes. We're on the trail for answers. Can you please wait outside? Can you tell us who you get your Can supplies you from? Please, young This is please. from China. Can you tell me who your supplier is? Ever had to complain about a teacher? Share your story. CBC.ca slash marketplace. The Real Deal, coming right at you. This is your Marketplace. Shanghai, China. We're here trying to find where two Canadian retailers had their jewelry made. Tests show high levels of toxic cadmium in some Aldo and Arden jewelry. We search through shipping records. No trace of the Aldo jewelry made here. But Arden, we find multiple orders shipped from here in 2015. We trace one of those orders to this building. I don't know if it's the same company. 1502. That's 1502. But that's a different company now. The records show Jingtong International Trading Company shipped fashion jewelry to Arden in June. Just, yeah, okay, so almost one year. Yeah, almost yeah. one year. But we're told, apparently, they left a year ago. Back in Iwu, records say another company, Oriel, sent necklaces to Arden last summer. 
This is the address. It's a home, not a business, never dealt with a Canadian company. Okay. And finally, Chin Huan Jewelry also sent necklaces to Arden in May and June. Neighbors tell us they closed down about a month ago. We try calling the number on the sign. Message. The number you have dialed is not in service. Please check the number and dial again. Okay, so here you go. Not in service, locked up here. No way to trace them. What does it mean if Aldo and Arden, these companies that do trade in Canada, that we find cadmium in jewelry on their shelves? Um, uh, quite frankly, it means they, they're very sloppy with what they're doing and they don't have uh, control over their supply chain in China. Back at home, we show Health Canada some of what we saw. It doesn't seem sufficient to me to accept somebody's assertion that this product is compliant with the rules in Canada. That is something that you as an importer really need to verify on your own. But I'm left thinking that not everybody is. Uh, that is, it is the responsibility of everybody in the industry to make sure their products don't pose a danger to human health and safety. So how dangerous is the jewelry 12-year-old Stella and her friends bought? We've asked her and her mom to travel to Montreal to École Polytechnique. Hi. Hello. Dr. Gerald Zagary Hello. is going to help us find out. There are no known risks just touching, but what could happen if a child swallows this earring from Arden or the charm from Stella's Aldo bracelet? How much cadmium could be absorbed into their body? What's allowed in drinking water is six micrograms uh, per day for a child. We found 1,300 micrograms. Wow. And then would potentially end up in the blood and in the organs. Wow, so, that, so all of these are really dangerous. I would uh, not uh, allow my daughter, for example, to put such a sample in her mouth. We share our findings with Aldo. They tell us they're taking steps to remove the jewelry from stores and are reviewing their jewelry testing. Arden says it will investigate. And it's not the first time. Arden has had to recall jewelry five times for lead or cadmium. I catch up with Stella and her mom outside a mall in Montreal. We asked Arden to come on camera and they said no. What do you think of that? It's I wish really I could, surprising. Yeah, I wish I could say I was surprised by that, but I'm not. Okay, well, we're not going to accept no. We're going to go to them right now. Really? Yeah. Would you like to come? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's go. Okay. Arden's loss prevention director, Angie Dalios, comes out. I understand that, but you have a necklace here that is 99.6% cadmium. Do you have an appointment with someone? We don't have an appointment. We've tried, and nobody's been willing to talk to us. You have something on your shelves that is toxic. You're going to have to wait outside, though. Can I ask anything further about what you're going to do in relation to this? Can you wait outside, please? Can you tell us who the supplier is? Like, I don't mind waiting outside while they figure out who to, they, who's going to come and speak to us. Outside, yeah, we heard you. We heard you. I just have to say, though, as a consumer, as a parent, I don't think you do understand, actually. So I'd like to finish my thought, and then I'll go outside. You're that I find it. Yeah, I, I heard you. Outside. I heard you. I also am not impressed that you're not even going to tell us who's going to come out and speak to us. We wait outside. Then they come out to hand us a statement. Our suppliers have been advised that the cadmium content in all of our jewelry must respect a maximum 130 milligram per kilogram threshold. I don't care what they tell their suppliers, because I don't care whether it's the supplier that's making the mistake or they're making a mistake. At the end of the day, it's this company that's selling it to, to my kids. So. It's their name on the product. We have sent inspectors out to speak with Arden and Aldo about the test results that you had. Got to figure out to what extent these may actually be being marketed straight to kids. Some of the products that you had identified had things were seemed kind of more childlike to me, the, the anchors and the hearts and whatnot. Yet Arden insists none of these products that we tested are children's jewelry. 
Health Canada's definition of that is anything sold that appeals to kids under 15. A store like Arden, it's a place we see kids under 15. Isn't everything in a store like that? Marketed I, it. I don't kids? think, I don't know if it is. I don't know how attractive some of that stuff is to kids under 15 compared to... China makes it universal for kids and adults. The Europeans do the same thing. They combine both kids and adult jewelry. We're trying to use evidence to make policy. Did they not use evidence to make they their policy? They used evidence. So their focus is very much on the toxicity of the product, which is an understandable approach. We are focused where we see the most risk, the stuff that's targeted at the young kids. That's where we're at. Why not just extend the guidelines to be regulations for everyone? Yeah, we're, we're very focused on those products that we think kids are actually likely to swallow. We're not aware of any incidents relating to cadmium in jewelry, like costume jewelry, mm -hmm. resulting in injury. This is a parent, I don't want to be the one whose kid goes to hospital to prompt you to go and take action. Yep. And as, as a regulator, I'm suggesting that you should probably try to keep age-appropriate materials in the hands of your kids. What if it turned out that costume jewelry that your 11-year-olds bought was 50 or 80 or almost 100% cadmium? Yeah, I probably, if I knew that that was 100% cadmium, I probably would say, you know, Sophie, hand that over. While Health Canada investigates Aldo and Arden, these parents have made their own plan of action. We're spending the evening going through the kids' rooms and throwing things out. Absolutely. <laughs> We have a lot of kids that are in and out. And now knowing the fact that, yeah, they do go chewing on stuff, what they're putting in their mouth. Yeah, it's out. It's all up. And I suspect you guys won't try and stop us. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> Real fruit snack. Raisins, coconut. Marketplace has a snack attack, and you won't believe what we find. Yeah, it's very misleading. I think it's manipulative. I think it's false. I want a company to stand behind what they're selling. 